Hello, Gun Club fans. It is Speedball Holland today for you guys. I have for you from 2005, the high-grade Gundam Seed Destiny, Dom Trooper. And yes, I said 2005, guys. This kid is literally one year off from being 20 years old, or as I like to call them, Gunpla Classics. But yes, this kid, guys, surprised me for its age, and that's actually a good thing in this case. Because, I'm not gonna lie, guys, the C original HD series, not, they're not bad. I've built a few, but then again, I've also had issues with a few of them, but, you know, that's another time. But yes, this, of course, is honestly not that case. And I can tell you that gladly, because this kid surprised me. I mean, like I said, this is almost a 20-year-old kid, guys. This is not from last year, not from the year before, or even five years ago. <laughs> this thing is old, but yet it's not bad. I liked it because it surprised me in a lot of ways because I've learned from a lot of sea kits from newer, even newer ones to older ones that, well, you're going to need to paint some things, guys. I've learned that. I mean, we've all seen the recent Rising Freedom uh, sticker sheet, am I right? <laughs> but yes, but in all seriousness, guys, yes. Uh, I have always learned that with seat high grades, there's going to be a little painting involved. But that's where this kit surprised me because I was expecting a lot more. But luckily, as you guys can see, right here on the sticker sheet, it's actually not that bad. And I can say that gladly because all the details you see here, these are just small, minor details on here that are easy to paint. And one way I can prove it, right here, these purple toes, that would be these big stickers right here, right there. And all the white stickers you saw are pretty much just for these verniers. That's it, they're the trim, which as if you have built any number of seat kits, you'll have a good understanding that, well, seat had a lot of weapons and other detailing sections that liked to use trims that were mostly stickers. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the stickers, guys. That, that's it. Everything else is just plastic. And that's amazing in a sense because outside of the, of course, the common red uh, in vernier trim that a lot of sea kits have had to, you know, that you have to paint, everything else is absolutely just plastic. The gray you see here, all this, and yes, even the shoulders here, guys. That surprised me the most. I was expecting this whole shoulder to just be in the black, all printed in one color, and that's it. But no, that purple is a separate part, and... So is this section right here. I was expecting complete, you know, paint needs all over that. But no, nothing. Complete part separate, color separate, and all that. And as I already mentioned, where you gotta paint some details on, everything else is just plastic. That is what surprised me the most for this kid of its age. Which is a good thing, guys. I like that. That is awesome. <laughs> and oddly enough, I've had this similar experience with other Zaft-based uh, mobile suit units from the uh, Sea Destiny line. I don't know what it is. I just have had no issues with that set of lines from the Zakus and so forth. So yeah, that's what I, That's what's great about these, as many will call them, of course, the Seed Incarnations of the UC uh, units. And that's, of course, what the Dom Trooper is, because it's, of course, based off of the Gundam Universal Sentry's Rick Dom or Dom units. And more important, and of course... Most important, they is of course the reincarnation variants of the, of course, the black tri stars. Now, of course, that's not what these three are called, but they do, of course, play the role of the tri stars in the anime and such. So, yeah, that is what's really great about this kit, guys. It comes together really well, easy to detail. I love it all. And <laughs> yeah, so of course, real quick, let's go into all the details, all the articulation, and so forth. Starting with articulation, yes, you can go full 360. Now, the shoulder is a little loose, guys, but you know, that's not a huge deal. No worries. And if you're wondering, he actually has an extra shoulder bend right here. I like that. That's fun. For good posability, too. And he does have full arm articulation. You can go about that far, unfortunately, but not a huge deal. That far, and hand can, of course, go all the way around. But here's a notable fact. It's not technically a ball-jointed hand. Yes, it uses a ball-joint polycap, yes, but that is because, as you're going to see in a second, the hands themselves are actually just pegs. Yeah, they plug into the ball-joint in the wrist, which... I don't know how many of this, uh, the older seed kits utilize this method. I'm sure a few did, but a lot of the ones I built, to my remembrance, I don't remember many of them actually utilizing this, so that's another surprise with this kit. And there's, uh, of course, some good reasons why it has that method, as you just saw, is one of them is this unique hand you get, because you just saw me put an open hand on, right? That's this one, the standard one. But this one's different because it's got an angle to it, see? So you can now literally shove enemy mobile suits out of the way. <laughs> or, of course have it connect up to the bazooka. That's really cool. I like that. Ooh, sorry for that. As you can see. And yeah, with a little angling. There you go. Classic bazooka firing position. Love it. Epic. Awesome. <laughs> and of course, another notable detail is this part right here on the arm. It can come out, though I tend to push it in too far sometimes. Give me one sec. As you can see, guys, when you unplug it, it leaves this opening, but there's a good reason for that, and that is because of another accessory this kit comes with, which totally surprised me being that it's what type of accessory it is and that is this solid clear effect part for his beam shield effect which i believe outside of like the strike freedom justice uh destiny and i don't know about the akatsuki but i'm pretty sure out of all those of the older high grade stuff i don't remember any other mobile suits coming with this type of shield so that is so cool and it's really nice because it's fully clear obviously and all you gotta do is 
push the peg back in, and all you do is reattach this back to the arm, as long as I don't bump into the shoulder again. And voila! You now have a beam shield to protect your dom, which, you know, in a lot of cases, that's a good, will help your dom a lot. <laughs> well, that is so cool. I love it. I, I did not expect this part in here at all, guys. I was expecting maybe like one of those paper kinds or anything like that, but a full solid clear one. That is pretty epic. And of course, now, and since we're on the topic of clear parts, you will, of course, also get another clear effect. And that is the Beam Saber, which totally caught me off guard, guys, because I'm pretty used to seeing for the older kits, like the classic uh, Beam Chopstick. But in this case, you get an actual Beam Saber. Really epic Beam Saber to go with the Beam Handle that you, of course, get that attached to the back, as you just saw. And yes, of course, can peg into the hand, just be held in the hand like any normal weapon. But this is so cool. I would have expected, you know, the classic part in the backpack and a chopstick part, you know, for the age. But no, it is so cool. I love this. I know I'm going to keep saying this, guys. Forgive me. <laughs> but that is just epic. I do love that part. And it plugs right back in with no problem. And of course, if you're wondering, it stays on pretty well. Now, of course, back to articulation. Now, unfortunately, due to the construction of the waist armor, uh, he can go about this far, but because of this big skirt art section right there, yeah, you can't go all the way around. You can go about that far for uh, ab crunch. And as for the head, actually, surprising enough, is really articulated. You can go back and forth. You can look all the way over there, all the way over there, all the way up there, all the way down there, and so forth. Now, if you're wondering, no, the mono eye doesn't move. Sadly, guys, but then again, as you saw on the sticker sheet, that's pretty much why, because there's the mono and there's the eye. So, yeah. And I, of course, just did my own customization to it, which I like, and a lot of people I know really like a lot more, which really looks great, guys. I recommend if you're doing a DOM or a mono eye build, get these kind of jewel decals. These are really good, trust me. Now, back to the, of course, accessories and such. Now, for the bazooka you see here, guys, as you saw, yes, this moves up and down, this moves back and forth, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but you can, what's detached, you can, of course, actually store this weapon on the Dom himself. Because there's the peg right there, and it simply attaches to the back right there. So, of course, you can store this if you don't want to wear it, have him use it. And, of course, you can have him just carrying his beam saber or other weapons, which is what I'm about to show you real quick. But after I, of course, finish the articulation, and that is, you can go about that far with the leg. About that far before hitting the back skirts. You can bend all the way well, that far, once again, because of the armor. <laughs> now, the feet are fully ball-jointed articulated, so you can twist his ankle as many times as you want. This armor can move up and down for positions and so forth. The front skirt can move out that far, and that's about it, so real quick, move that out of the way. And now back to what I was mentioning before about other accessories and weapons, because if you were ever wondering, yes, the Dom Trooper, in this case the kit, is compatible with the high-grade Gundam Seed Destiny uh, Zaft weapon sets. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Zaku Warriors, Phantom, and Slash Zaku's backpacks, which of course came with the original high-grade Lunamaria, Ray Zabarel, and the uh, advanced-grade, sorry, <coughs> Slash Zaku kits, which unfortunately nowadays will might be a bit of a challenge for a number of fans because those don't get reissued too often. Though with the recent line of movie, of course, releases, there are have been a good number of seed reissues of the older kits. So I believe I don't know specifically. I believe some of those will be reissued. Though sadly, I don't think the Slash Zaku will. But back to my point is if you were ever wondering, can you, of course, adapt that on here? Yes, he does have the adapter set up right there because the backpack is just this. It comes right off with no problem. And luckily for you, my friends, I already have all the 144 scale weapon packs for you guys to check out. So you guys can see. Now, this is, of course, the advanced grade version, which, of course, yes, I painted and so forth. And yes, all he does is attach it to the back like such. And there you go. And yes, of course, comes with the epic ox. <laughs> and yes, just like any other Sihan style axe weapons, all you do is just play, plug it into the hand. Well, slide it into the hand in this case. <sighs> Such. And voila, you got a slash dom, <laughs> which I do. Ooh, sorry about that. That was my fault. As you can see, deadly epic and why don't we actually have a version like this so I've, ever since i tried this out i really wonder why we don't have a dom like this it's just like why <laughs> all right real quick let's pop off the backpack put on the fan of course our phantoms backpack and there you guys go the phantom dom i think it would be called however and yes you can fully deploy it just like such there you go Missiles and everything. <laughs> now let's, of course, put the last one on, which would be the gunner one, which is a little tricky. I'm not going to lie, guys, due to the whole arm 
set up here for the cannon, but the attachment works just the same. Let's see, there we go. And once you get underneath, you can, of course, now I'm not going to just you know, take the cover off again, but yes, you can fully attach it to the arm. And once done, there you go. You got yourself a gunner, <laughs> Dom, which this one almost reminds me of like the Thunderbolt style version in a sense. But yeah, but there you go, guys. You can fully deploy all the wizard packs on this high grade, which is now another epic reason. This kit is really cool. I love it. And if you were curious, what about the Dom's backpack? Can you attach this to on to a Zaku? To answer your question, once pegged into the volley cap on the back, yes, you can. It fully attaches just the same. <laughs> so, and there you go, there, guys, back to your normal self. Now, unfortunately, as I must mention this real quick, um, unfortunately, at the time of when I originally purchased this Dom specifically, guys, I couldn't pick up two more because this was sort of a scavenge find kind of deal at the time. Because as you can see there, guys, this is not a reissue unit. This is an OG release. I don't know specifically when, but yeah, so unfortunately, I couldn't get two more to show you with you guys because another one last success where you do get is these very, well, the standard Bandai style stand that, of course, if you had multiple units, would easily peg in like such that you would, of course, use for epic down poses and such like that. But yeah. Now, of course, real quick, let's do some fun size comparisons, starting with a obvious one I have to do. <laughs> His UC counterpart, or the classic Rick Dom Char's version. As you can see, yes, you can see where C changed a lot of the detailings for from UC to Seed. And one that I noticed especially is the feet. I mean, as you can see, UC style have a lot rounder feet for the Dom, whereas the Destinies doesn't. And the thigh armor is a lot thinner in a sense to its original. But other than that, guys, I know I really like the Rick the Troopers version. I do like it and such. Now, of course, we gotta show him off with some other Seed units. My original high grade Aegis, which is definitely one of my favorite high grades. But yes, as you can see, a class of seed units together. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any like other like daggers or anything I can really show off right now, guys. Hopefully soon, because I do have one I'm planning to build soon. But yeah, but however, and since I might as well, because I like showing this one off, here is my entry grade. Well, in the sense for other reasons, 1.0 Perfect Strike Gundam, just so you guys could see the size wise, and yeah. So other than that, guys, yes, this was a very interesting model, a very fun one. It did not take me too long to do. I love the fact that the detailing on this kit was not hard. I love the fact that even for its age, it's still a really good model. In fact, that's why I highly recommend you try to pick one up. And I have good news for you guys, because at the time of this video's release and such, uh, the Dom Trooper is one of the, for, so uh, I mentioned earlier, reissue model kits you can now pick up and, at your normal hobbies or online stores that you prefer. And I know this because I've checked around in a number of the sites I usually go to have already have full in-stock listings of this kit, so I do hope that you will consider picking this character up because it is a fun model. I recommend them, and honestly, at some point, I do hope that Bandai might consider doing a Master Grade version to this to go with all the other Zaft Master Grades we have so far, but if not, I could definitely say the High Grade, even for its age, is a classic and awesome build. So I thank you all for coming. I hope you're all enjoying your hobby, and of course, I will see you all later.